going on guys it's your boy spark here bringing you a video today we're playing cod 4 i just went gross i just went like 9 and 12 that's not youtube worthy so i'm here to talk about uh just basically what's going to go on with this scene like a lot of people are going to be playing cod 4 instead of infinite warfare i literally just rebought this game it was four dollars so i was like that's that's kind of sad because this game is pretty legendary but I also pre-ordered Infinite Warfare. I'm gonna put a clan tag on, put a big mark on. But I'm pretty ass at this game. Oh, the game's already started. But I'm pretty ass at this game. Like I said, I just went nine and twelve, so I think I'm the goat. So if you want, you can go ahead, tweet big mark, be like, "Yo, is Spark good at the game or what?" And you'll get some pretty funny responses probably. So uh, I guess I'll use the AK. I don't really know what's good in this game because I never really played this game online. Until like 2010. Because I didn't know what online was. And I just went back to it after I got it. But I do know this map because it was from MW2. They remade it. But. Oh, that's a guy. I'm ass. But, uh. This was the first game I had on Xbox. I just didn't have live. Because I didn't know what it was. But. The first game I actually played was World at War. Which. That game was awesome. That was my first online game. Oh, and two. We gotta pick it up. Let's go, Spark. Uh, but I really do like the basic mechanics of this game. I'm really happy they're gonna bring it back and remaster it. Saw some of the videos and screenshots that they have been making. And obviously in the trailer, it looks insane, like, next level type stuff. Obviously, it's 2016. This game was made almost 10 years ago. So it's gonna look a lot better, but... A lot of people are really concerned with the Infinite Warfare competitive scene, so... I'm getting, I can't shoot, bro. Ooh, what up, scrub lord? But, basically, can I feed? Nope. <laughs> I'm so bad, dude. <laughs> Just tweet Big Mark, please. I want to see what he'll say. But anyway, I'm saying, uh, I don't know what the competitive scene is going to look like for Infinite Warfare, because a lot of people want to just play this instead, like, as competitive. And I saw a lot of, uh, people tweeting, even MES Jake. He's tweeting, do you guys want to see remastered lands for COD 4? Obviously, that'd be something, uh, they could make a lot of money, because there's, there's a lot of the new kids, and there's a lot of the, I'm going to pick up this sniper. There's a lot of the new kids who want to play this, and, and Infinite Warfare, but there's a lot of the OGs who want to play this, and that would be dope if a lot of people came back. Like, competitive-wise, I'm talking, like, major competitive, like, maybe an MLG tournament for this, but I highly doubt it. Just because, obviously, it's going to take a lot of extra money to run an event for just this. Or unless they do a dual event, which I don't know. How that, oh my, I am so bad. <laughs> but, yo, I really want to start playing this game every day. It's such a good game, even though I'm not that good at it. I just have a lot of fun playing. But I want to start playing, like, I don't even know. Can you play, like, GBs and, like, wagers on COD 4? That'd be dope. I know Grace was talking about it. Um, I think I'm going to try to play some tonight, and I'll definitely record that for you guys. I'm so gross. Watch this. What the fuck? But I want to play this, like, every day and just play it and actually get good at it, because obviously I'm pretty trash right now. But I am going to give Graceless the hands in a 1v1 snipes later on shipment. That's going to go down. That's going to get recorded. But really... Oh, hey, what up, Graceless? That's what you got to look forward to, buddy. I'm pretty nice with a snipe. No, I'm not I'm not nice with any gun. Oh, I missed. Um, four and seven. Let's pick it up. But, like, honestly, I'm so hyped for MLG Anaheim, and I can't wait to, to go there. It's going to be surreal. Like, honestly, I have a, a flight already booked. I got my VIP pass. It's going to be sick. Gonna be hanging out with Mark and Grace is actually going, which is gonna be fun. I have someone to hang out with while Mark coaches and the players play, but I can't wait for that, dude. It's it's only May, so about a month away, but it's gonna be an unreal experience. And I hope, uh, I really think they'll be able to do something serious with that team they have right now. It's it's looking promising. Oh my God, I'm nice with it. I don't know if I'm nice with it. Or I'm just getting lucky. Obviously, I'm shit because I'm five and nine, but. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and make sure you tweet us at torch underscore org. Anything regarding competitive or, like, if you need help with anything as 
a business standpoint, but we're really growing rapidly le recently, and uh, it's been awesome. So we're really starting to move into the competitive scene. We're going to our first major as a team. Obviously, you guys all know that, as the previous video stated, but that guy was just fucking dancing on the floor, dude. I couldn't even see him. But, uh... Yo, I'm, I'm for real some trash, dude. How are we winning? This dude's 21-4. and four. But... Um... Yeah, like I said, I can't wait to see what... It's only been five months. Our one, our five-month anniversary for Torch is this, uh, May 4th. We've only been around since December 4th, and we've grown so rapidly. With the help of everyone in the org, man. Everyone has been doing their part, for real. And I promise, and I mean that. And I really, uh, I really appreciate everyone so far. And all the fans, dude, you guys are great. Always, always tweeting and always supporting us at everything we do. So that's that's good to see. Mark's really been doing work, man. I'm I'm gonna give it to him. Shout out to that man, Mark, dude. He's close to 800 followers too. Go give him a follow, dude. He is really putting in work for us, as well as Josh Shark Shocker. Obviously, you guys know him, and me, obviously Spark. And there's a Claymore. What's up? I need to really figure out how to be good at this game, dude. Gold Desert Eagle. I saw you guys saw the remastered picture of this. It looks dope. I don't even honestly know how you get it. Oh. My cheeks or is this fucking bullshit? Please comment below. Because tell me I'm cheeks. I don't even care. I know I'm cheeks. Can I fucking find this guy? Can't even go up the hill, dude. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not cheeks, bro. I'm nice. I'm okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm some ass. But for real, like... Comment below what you guys think will be the better game, Infinite Warfare, or do you think a lot of people will be on this game, COD 4? Obviously, it's a classic, and everyone loves it. But that's going to wrap it up today, guys. Just a little brief video describing my, my feelings for this game and Infinite Warfare, and just a little rant about Torch and everything. But thank you guys for watching. I went 7-15. and 15. Not the greatest game, but I'm still going to give Graceless the hands. Guys, so I don't know what happened at the end of that video. It cut out somehow, but... Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Torch underscore org. And as always, it's been your boy Spark. Goodbye.